All right, guys. Hold on just one second. Give me just one second. Okay. What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. Uh, it's sprinkling today. Uh, I got the van pretty much all cleaned out. Uh, yesterday I was cleaning it, so I was pretty much just taking everything out and detailing it. And just vacuum everything and clean off the carpet. I cleaned off the carpet. I vacuumed the whole thing. I did the bed sheets. I, you know, I cleaned out the back. I did vacuum the, tr you know, the trunk, the front, the dashboard, the, just the whole nine. You know, I just did the whole nine and uh, pretty much detailed it uh, clean yesterday. And then today I, uh, t today, uh, you know, I pretty much just packed everything. So. Made sure everything that I took out to clean, I put back in. We took out some extra stuff like this box that was holding some wires. We just kind of got some wires back there now. It's a little bit better, more room. We got some more Frisbees that are able to, to come with us and stuff like that. So, you know, it's just overall a little bit better. This thing is not closing. I don't want to close. There it is. Yeah, so... That's pretty much been my day. I've just been literally just packing all day, man. Just all day long. Just been doing it all day. Oh, yeah. I forgot I dried some putters off earlier. Go bust those out real quick. How are you guys doing today, you know? Are y'all getting your daily putts up? I know I am. Are y'all getting your putts up? You can't expect to be consistent and good if you don't consistently practice, you know? It's just, it, it, it's like, I mean, I, I love watching motivational videos online and stuff. My favorite one that I've seen is just like, it's like, you get in what you put out, you know, you put, or, yeah, wait, what the fuck does it go like? It goes like. Shit, I'm trying to put it. Uh, it goes like. It's like, I think it was Rich Pinera or something like that. Rich, Richmond Pinera. I don't know. He was this juiced up bodybuilder. He had tattoos everywhere. And he ended up, I think, overdosing. Uh, you know, dealt with some drug problems and stuff. But he was a very motivational guy. And he would always... He, I loved his quotes. He's like, he's like, it's not fucking rocket science. The more you put in, the more you get out. And I just thought that shit, just that quote right there is so hard to me. I, I like, man, I fuck with that so heavy, you know, like, because it's real. The more you put in, the more you get out, you know. It ain't fucking, it ain't rocket science. So if you you feel like you want to be a better putter ask yourself if you're putting every day you know if you're not putting every day then or at least have a day or a, once a week or i mean let's be honest everybody's got time to get 20 minutes of putts up you know like it, it and it don't have to be long putts like i some days you know, you see it. I don't even go out of the garage, and the garage is is like what, a, probably a eighteen foot putt. You know, it's like that's not big. I'm just, it's more about getting that muscle memory down. Yeah, today might be a shorter one just because I can't really put inside. I, you know, inside. I don't really want to put inside the garage. I don't like my putters getting wet, so just kind of getting a couple up 
before we're leaving tomorrow. So today is our last day here in Charlotte. It was really fun while it lasted, you know, the off season is really fun. But I'm excited for the season and stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, putt's been feeling good these past couple of weeks. I feel like, you know, obviously I, you have your days and you don't have your days, but I'd say consistently it's been feeling better. Like the past year, I felt like I was practicing and almost not getting worse, but just it never felt like I was, I almost felt like I was getting a little worse, you know, but I just felt like I wasn't progressing at all. But after I've started filming myself I feel like these past this past month month or so I really feel like uh I really feel like it's been approve it's been improving because I you know it, it puts almost when you I would recommend if you guys struggle with uh pressure putting right and high quality practice I would recommend filming it and posting it because when you know that other people are going to be looking at it and judging you and and uh, and and watching it and watching your putt and your stroke, it's it's almost has that same kind of pressure feeling as as if uh, you know if you're on coverage or or your buddies are watching you. So it's not like this. Like when I turn the camera off and I just start throwing putts up, it's a little you know it's just a little different because I know nobody's watching. I know it's and. That's the part you're trying to eliminate is having that difference, but there's always going to be those feelings there, right? It's hard to get rid of those feelings. So I think that uh, getting used to that feeling is probably your better bet of uh, of conquering that 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 fear and just that that nervousness is by is by putting yourself out there in that nervousness and 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 and, and learning in it, you know, and learning how you react and what you need to to feel like you need to do to be a successful person. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> There it is. Yeah, that felt good. Yeah, the stroke's been feeling pretty good. I'm excited for this year. Just to, I'm, I'm, my main goal for this year, it's not to shoot and win every tournament. And, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go out there and try and win every tournament I step out. But my goal this year, my main goal is this year, is to keep my mental in check, right? Is to not let this up here right uh not let the six inches of fairway in between the ears determine whether it's a good round or a bad round because i've had shitty starts to rounds where you're supposed to be going birdie 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 and i've i could feel myself getting nervous and like holding on to it and holding and like being mad and and eventually i feel myself just let go you know like i let go of that like that pressure of like holding on to like oh my god like you know you gotta you gotta shoot a good round you gotta you gotta hold on like as soon as you let go of like it's not not caring but it's a it's a you know giving up by giving up to gain control sorry if you want to gain control it's by giving up control so as soon as you know that you know like ah shit anything could happen here really you know 
going to just try my best. And as soon as you do that, as soon as you let it go, and you try your best on the mental side and the physical side, as long as you try your best on those two parts, and you get them both right and both confident and both on the same page, I feel like I feel like it's a win, right? So like, I've been trying to uh, been trying to take that mindset and and put it into disc golf more, right? So we used to I used to be a baseball guy, and I I would always try and play up. You know, I would always play with older kids, always trying to play up in divisions, just so it's always, the competition's always better, right? So I'd always try and play up in my whole baseball career. And uh, when I got to high school, like my freshman year of high school, my older brother uh, was, he was about to go to college and he could play one more year of senior legion, right? And uh, uh, they let me, um, I probably wasn't good enough. I was good enough to be a PO. That's what I was. I was a pitcher only. I had, I could I could uh I could spot up right. I could throw strikes if you needed somebody to throw some strikes. I had a decent curveball, decent change up. You know, it, it kind of broke off. Like my change up would break right just a little bit, and then my my curveball. I, I would I would try not to hang it too much. I, would, I I felt like I I would set pitches up good. I was not the fastest pitcher, but I had good baseball knowledge to the point to where like I could set up a pitch. You know, fast. I throw a fastball high. And then set it up with like a curveball next and just, you know, just basic, basic baseball knowledge. And so one of the things that we did on that senior Legion team when I was a PO, uh, since everybody in baseball thinks that you have to be like, you know, a good hitter and stuff. And the only and good hitters are only good at hitting like three out of ten times. Right. That's that's some of the best hitters in the world. Hit the ball three out of the ten times. You go do that in any other sport. Tell me how good you are. You're not good, okay? I don't care what sport you're in. If you do something three out of ten times correctly, you're probably going to be sitting the fucking bench, you know? And so that's what makes baseball such a beautiful game is, like, it's a game of failure, you know? It's a game of, of failing, of failing, of failing. A failing number, a failing ratio is still winning in baseball hitting, right? You didn't even hit half of the time, and you're you're still one of the greatest people in the world. So something we did with that, right? Instead of thinking a hit is good because hits only came three out of 10 times. So if you're only thinking you're good three out of 10 times, you're going to think you're bad most of the time. So instead of that, we would do these things called cues, right? <clears throat> We'd call them cues, which is a cue meant a quality at bat, right? So a quality at bat, there was, my dad made a big list, right? So like, a quality at bat could be anything. So if there was a man on third, zero outs or one out, and you hit a fucking deep fly ball, you know, you sw- you try and swing for the fences and put it as far as you can so the runner can tag up from third and get home. Even though that you hit the ball and got out, you scored a run, so that's a quality at bat because you did your job, you got a run in, that's a cue, right? So even though your batting uh, percentage went down, right? So like, let's say, you know, I'm not a 300 batter anymore after that. Who cares? Because guess what? I got a cue on the motherfucking board. Everybody's hyped about the cues. Everybody was loving the cues. It was like it was all we cared about was getting cues. No, not one of us on the baseball team cared about getting a fucking hit. And I really do think that's why we won as many games as we did is because imagine not being selfish. Like there wasn't one person who was selfish. We were all wanting to get these cues at the end of the day. And so all the cues did was just make it a quality at bat. So quality at bat is either a hard hit ground ball a hard hit line drive, uh, if you did a job like lay down a bunt, sacrifice fly, anything along those lines, you can get a cue, you know. As long as it's a hard hit ball, you get a cue, right? And so that's the mindset that I've been trying to bring over to disc golf, right? Is like, it doesn't matter what happens, right? It doesn't matter what the result is on the putt, right? It could hit left and chain out. It could go straight through. It could chain out right. It could, I could airball it. Whatever. As long as I sat there beforehand and made sure I hit a quality putt, right? So a quality at putt. So if I stepped up, I breathe. I visualize the line. I visualize it. I breathe again. And if I if I do all those things, you know, correctly, if I breathe and I have a good visualization and I have a good mental space, if I do all of those things correctly, then it is a quality at putt, right? I, that's a quality putt. I won that putt, right? So, so try that next time you're out there. 
just win the little like win the mental battle and the physical like battle like if that makes any sense so like if i'm lining up this hyzer shot okay know that know what disc you need to choose right this that's the mental side know what disc know what angle right that's more of the physical side know what angle you're wanting to hit it at show me the angle and and then and then you try and execute it as long as you did all the steps beforehand to prepare for the shot or as long as you did all the steps beforehand to prepare for the putt it doesn't matter what happens in the putt or in that drive because you're going to set up the same way on the next one and on the next one and on the next one and and that's how you get quality at putts or quality at thro like quality throws and quality putts is by making sure all those little things are aligned before you throw it right don't just be going up there and being like oh straight shot whatever no like get up there we got about 250 into the pin okay that's gonna be a putter for me 250 i'm gonna have to throw it not hard as i can but maybe like 60 70 percent okay i want it flat but maybe i want it to just finish right so i'm gonna put just a slight ante on it right here right so just little details like that to, you know really dialing in the shot and knowing what you're about to do before you go and try and do it is going to help out a lot you know just going up there randomly and being like oh i hope i make this putt you know instead of doing that i i sit here i i breathe i set up you know i i pick out a line visualize it in i breathe again and then i go and i think that's i think that's the key point of of um, my game this year of what i'm going to try and do is quality putts quality throws if i do what i need to do beforehand then it doesn't the result doesn't matter and i think that's where dr bob rotella came, comes into play is like giving to gain control is by giving up control okay so like by knowing that you can't do anything after you let the disc go, but go to the next shot and try your best, you're going to be the best player you'll ever be. So that's the mindset I'm trying to get. That's what I tell myself every day. That's what I'm trying to just repeat, 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 rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. I'm trying to get, trying to burn that mindset into my head, you know. So that's what, that's kind of the mental side of the ass of the game that I'm kind of approaching with this year is no matter what happens as long as i set myself up the correct way with the breathing and the visualization the result the result doesn't matter so i'm excited for this next year let's go last last four putts right here let's go we're cashing them oh shit i lied it's all good Oh shit. Starting to rain a little harder. I think we're about to call it for today. We'll go three disc challenge. Go three disc blue challenge. Actually we'll go yeah, we'll go three disc challenge. I think I'm switching back to the pure whites this year. I have had I feel like most of my success with the pure white wizards, so that's the one I've been wanting to switch back. And these are my pure whites right here. They just they feel real good and slick. And when my hand gets sweaty out there, there it's like and I put chalk on it and I put it back on, it's almost a different consistency than just casually putting. And for some reason, when I'm casually putting, I'd say the, the nylon and the nylon glows feel better. But when I hop into a tournament and my hand gets real sweaty, the the pure white wizards feel a little bit better, which is weird. So I'm thinking about busting out this one right here. I showed you guys this, I think, yesterday. This is a old school uh, wizard. I found it in David's backyard. I don't know if I specified that on yesterday's video. I think I got off onto like another tangent and just kind of kept going on about how me and david are family and blah blah blah, blah, blah. but we are you know we're, we're we're good i'd say we're good we're good friends and stuff and and he let me stay at his house and i was putting in his backyard and this was just buried and i love pure whites 
works. And so I was like, man, I'm taking this. A pure white wizard in the backyard, David McCormick's house. I was like, that'd be kind of cool to bust out on coverage one day or, you know, just to, just to have in general. That's pretty, it's a pretty cool, cool memory that I, that I can keep for a long time. I'm never going to throw it because it feels brittle. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like I, I could see this thing cracking in like some zero degree weather. It just feels real brittle, you know, I don't know. Like it's stiff as a board. Like I can't, like there's not a stiffer putter in the game than, than this pure white wizard. I, can, I guarantee it. I can guarantee it. There's zero give to this disc. All right, last putts for me right here. Let's get some straddles up. Okay. Hey. I really. There it is. That felt good. Let's go last one right here. Did we get on top of that bitch. Hey. The pure whites, the reason I tried switching away from pure whites is because of the grip on them. Not necessarily like my hand grip, but like the chain grip, you know, like I don't feel like I'd be getting those like suck ins or anything with the pure whites, but I do hit dead center more. So I guess that's really the key factor. Hey, that one was too hard. Too hard, too hard. Too hard, too hard. All right, last two, last two. I gotta go take a shit. Make sure I got everything ready. You know, I, I need to get my shower bag ready. And I got all my clothes and my discs, I think, put in there. So I might do one more wraparound on the disc selection and, and make sure. Man, I just gonna. I do enjoy putting, you know. The more I've been doing this and talking to you guys and putting, uh, you know, at, at first you're, you're a little nervous to put yourself out there in front of everybody, but now that I've been doing it, you know, it's not too bad. You get some criticism, but you know, I love seeing the quote that you're never gonna get judged by someone doing more than you. You know, you're never gonna get nobody who is doing more than you and you know is is, is ever going to pass judgment upon you you know it's always the people who are doing less you know that that want that want the opportunities and want the things that you have <clears throat> they're the ones that you know try and try and bring you down a peg or two but <clears throat> that's just most people online you know got to get offline and get out in the real world if you want to have a happy life Happy life, in my opinion. Oh shit, redo, redo. Redo! We'll go redo, we'll go fat, fat putt for you guys. Last one, big putt, it's about 45, 50, this is about 50 feet, I think. God damn, that was fucking hearted. That was fucking hearted. Fuck, that was hard right there. All right, that was it for today. Uh, kept you guys in the garage so y'all wouldn't get rained on, you know. Got to protect the, the film. So, finito, peace out. Travel vlog tomorrow. Uh, maybe I'll, ma I'll, I'll probably make my announcement video tonight. Uh, just Maybe I'll just make a quick announcement post. 
I was wanting to do something funny, but we'll see. You know, we'll see. See you guys in the next one. See you guys for tomorrow's travel vlog. We're hitting the road. Uh, going to Florida. So I'm excited to show you guys some of that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then. Peace.